What's up guys, Chase Oliver here, bringing you another video to my channel. Today I'll be talking about why Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar should main event WrestleMania. Part of my series where I talk about the big four matches at WrestleMania and give good reasons why those matches should main event the showcase of the Immortals. Last time I talked about AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura, and if you haven't seen that video, that will be in the description box down below. But today we're going to be talking about the big dog, the cockfist himself, our boy, Roman Reigns. Taking on the Beast Incarnate, uh, the Universal Champion, Brock Lesnar. Now, why should Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns main event the Showcase of Immortals? Why should they main event WrestleMania 34? Well, this may be a lame argument to most people, but they have main evented at WrestleMania. They main evented WrestleMania 31. And like the WrestleMania 31 counterpart match, a lot of people really weren't working, looking forward to this match. One, Lesnar at that point was just doing a bunch of suplexes. Two, Reigns was not the performer he was three years ago. Like, like trust me, if, if Reigns was the performer he was now that he was three years ago, I think a lot more fans would like him. But back then, Roman Reigns was still kind of, eh. Like, it wasn't, like, solidified that Reigns was a good in-ring worker. Like, that he could put on a good match. And... Lo and behold, when the match came, it was actually a really good match. And in fact, a lot of people said it was a great match. And we're talking about how that was one of their favorite main events. You know, even up until the Seth cash and you know, the Seth cash in added a little bit more uh, favoritism to the match. But still, it was a really good matchup between these two men. It was like, felt like a real fight, had a big fight atmosphere. And a lot of people are saying, hey, you're getting this good match again. Why are you complaining? Because seriously, you're getting Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar again. And the last time they had this match, man, it was really good. And also, another reason why this match should main event WrestleMania, it's kind of funny. We always complain about how WWE doesn't do a good job doing storytelling more or long-term booking or long planning of what they want to do with their wrestlers. Well, here's a story that's been building for quite some time. Yes, WWE hasn't been doing a good job with it, but when it comes to a lot of other things with wrestling and they do, don't do a good job with it, the fans will make excuses or opinions to, to stir you to saying, oh, this is why you should care about the match. Well, I'm going to do the same thing with this one right here. I mean, let's be real here. Reigns and Lesnar never had a definitive finish. Reigns looked like he had Lesnar on the ropes. Now, this would work perfectly if Lesnar was undefeated until he faced Roman Reigns, but then they kind of had the Goldberg... Uh, the Goldberg saga, where Goldberg kind of like was the one beating Brock Lesnar. So yeah, a little bit of it is kind of taking away the luster. But Reigns has something where it's like, hey, he almost had Brock Lesnar on the ropes. And then not only that, they're building up the story of that both Reigns and Lesnar are the only two guys to defeat Undertaker at WrestleMania. That's another cool story right there. As well with the fact that they've been building up this match for well over a year. We've heard reports, WWE's plans, even like after, before WrestleMania 33. The reports were that they were going to have Lesnar win, Reigns was going to win, and then at 34, it was going to be Reigns and Lesnar. And a lot of people were like, oh, well, these are just early plans. It's not like WWE can't change their mind. And even with all the stuff that's been going on, the stuff with Samoa Joe, the stuff with Care Bear... All these other wrestlers that look like, oh, they could actually face Brock Lesnar. Finn Balor, for frick's sakes. They stuck to their guns. They went with Roman Reigns and they told the story of, hey, Roman versus Brock. That's what they've been doing for this past year is building up that story. Have they been doing a good job with it? Not really. But hey, at least they put in the effort. At least they put in the time. Like I said, one of the things that I like with what WWE does is when they at least put in effort and time. Yes, sometimes maybe it might not turn out the results that you may want. See Jinder Mahal. But hey, I at least give WWE credit for putting in time and effort with Jinder Mahal instead of letting the guy waste on the roster. You know? I always like it when I see WWE at least try with something. And I like that WWE tried to do some long-term booking with Reigns and Lesnar. Yes, it hasn't been the best long-term booking. Yes, it hasn't been the most dramatic story. But at least they've tried. And that's what I will give WWE credit for. And then another thing, too, of why this should main event WrestleMania is that Roman Reigns, whether you like it or not, is the guy of the WWE right now. Or is the guy. He's not a good guy. He's not a bad guy. He's they guy. And the thing is, you can't have your guy at WrestleMania go on and not main event. That That's just how I view it. If this guy is the guy that you want to build around, whether fans like it or not, I mean, fans didn't like Cena, but you still main event at WrestleMania with Cena when he was getting booed out the building. 
WWE didn't care. WWE wasn't afraid. They said, this is our guy. He's the one selling the merch. He is the one we want to build this company around. You got to do the same with Roman Reigns. You can't just have it where Roman Reigns is playing second fiddle, especially to some of these other matches on the card. He's considered the guy. You can't have it where Roman Reigns is not looking at as the guy. You have to make him a big deal. Brock Lesnar, you got to get that ROI, return on your investment. Brock Lesnar has been someone that you have re-signed to huge deals twice now. You got him back in 2012 on a, D, on a limited part-time deal, and then you got him back in 2015. Now, to be seen if it's going to get back on 2018, but you got to get that ROI. You got to get that return on your investment because you started this, the re-signing with Brock Lesnar with the Roman Reigns match, and Reigns couldn't defeat him. Now it's time for Brock Lesnar to put over the young talent in Roman Reigns and have it where Roman Reigns conquers the Beast and is, is the one to send the Beast home packing. Whether that's back to the UFC or he resigns with the WWE, it is what it is. But you got to do it where it's like Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns at least have that final spot because, hey, it's the final chapter in the Brock Lesnar arc. And it's one where you can finally have it where Roman Reigns beats a guy who's been a champion for over a year. We want to talk about, you know, guys winning the Rumble or, or guys winning the champion WWE Championship. Let's talk about how Brock Lesnar has been a champion for over a year now. Over a year. That's some good stuff right there. I mean, I don't care whether you think his reign has been boring or not. I think the reign has been boring, but still. Just from a pure statistic standpoint and wanting to look impressive, this guy's been champ for over a year. That's crazy. It's, it, yeah, it's a slept on. It's something where it's like, well, he's barely there. But still, over a year? For most casuals, that looks pretty damn impressive. So when it comes down to it, Reigns and Lesnar has been getting a lot of time. Reigns and Lesnar has the story and the ability to main event WrestleMania. Are they all good things? That's up to debate. It's how you view it. It's how you want to spin it. Uh, for me personally, though, when I look at what WWE has done with the time and effort, Reigns and Lesnar should main event WrestleMania, and I would have no problem if they did main event WrestleMania. But what do you guys think? Should Reigns and Lesnar main event WrestleMania? Let me know in the comment section down below. Give this video a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Follow me on Twitter at ChaseAuber68. I'll see you guys next time for the next video in this series or whatever video I decide to upload or whenever I decide to upload. But I'll see you guys next time for that. Thank you all very much. Remember guys, just like our champion Brock Lesnar, sometimes you don't have to give a shit in life. And pop your collars and say with me. Go!